Hey guys, John Faulkner here with Survival Dispatch, and uh, it's Easter weekend. Uh, it's Easter Sunday. Um, I was cooped up in the house for most of yesterday trying to get some, some work done. Uh, so I told the wife that I needed to go out for a run. I grabbed uh, my camera and, uh, you know, I just kind of stopped and, and made a short video. Um, you know, for, for America, with COVID-19 and everything that's going on, this is week four, week five, I don't know, they all start to, to really run together. And, um, you know, it's been a real, I think a real challenging time for, for a lot of us. Um, if, if you're in good health, um, you know, be thankful for that. Um, but even, you know, if you're in good health, you could have lost your job. Uh, by now, you know, over six, seven million uh, people have filed for unemployment. Um, if you haven't lost your job, you could have, you know, had your pay docked. I see a lot of companies are trying to reduce their pay to keep people on. You could have been furloughed um, or you could have been let go, you know, and uh, these are the, the challenges that are coming with this COVID-19. It's not just the illness, it's the, the economic um, part that's going to to go along with this you know a lot of people are calling for uh, a recession maybe the you know a great depression um, but you know it's it's times like we haven't seen in a long time uh, and I wanted to you know first of all uh, encourage you guys you know hang in there um, stay strong uh, be kind to others you know we're, we're all frustrated at this time um, but, you know, continue to, to, to be the, the great human beings um, that we are, you know, show people love, show people kindness, um, because it will, it will help, you know. I've been going out of my way um, to, um, to call more people, um, you know, to tell people thank you. You know, if I go to a store or something, tell every single, you know, stock boy, uh, tell every single cashier, you know, thank you. Um, they're, you know, they're, they're dealing with, with pissed off people all day long, day after day for extended hours. Um, so tell them thank you. Uh, but it's, you know, it's one of those things, I just wanted to grab my camera. Uh, this weekend has been a, uh, a frustrating weekend for me. Um, you know, it's Easter weekend. Uh, this isn't a, a religious video by any means, um, but you know, it's, it's at a weekend where most Americans uh, come together and and celebrate um but we're not you know we're doing it differently we're sitting at home uh self-quarantined um you know i got out of the house just for a little bit uh to come to a park that has been closed down um just to get some running in you know but it's it's been a it's been a difficult difficult week for me uh my grandfather passed away yesterday um and it's just, it's one of those things where you never thought you would be at a place where uh, you couldn't go visit him. Uh, he, was, he was in the hospital for a couple days. We couldn't go see him. Uh, you know, they had everything, everything quarantined. Um, he passed away yesterday. Uh, can't have a funeral, can't have a gathering. Uh, these are just things you never, you never really thought would, would happen, you know, here, here in America. Um, you, you never would have thought that you couldn't, uh, you know, be, be with your family, your extended family, um, you know, when somebody passed away. Um, and it's just, you know, it's added to the, 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 I don't want to call it the norm right now, but what we've been living in for the last month or so. Um, you know, and I feel like a lot of you, you know, on your, your, your tons of questions that you guys leave, um, we, we love all of your questions. We try to answer as many as possible, you know, on Facebook, on Instagram, on, in, on, uh, YouTube. Um, but this is, this is new times, you know, um, most of us in America are used to dealing with, um, difficult times that, that last maybe an, uh, uh 10 minutes an hour, maybe a day, maybe, maybe a, a weekend, you know, with a, a hurricane uh, or an earthquake or, um, you know, a chemical spill, something like that. Um, it usually doesn't drag on for, for weeks and weeks. And, uh, you know, and it's, it's, it's one of those things where I think, 
I'd say we're, I'm in week four right now, depending on what state you're in, as far as, you know, closures and stuff. You've seen a lot of small businesses go out of, go out of business. Um, you know, there's, there's no way to, I don't think there's any way to resurrect most of those. Um, you know, as most of you guys know, I travel a ton for my job. I'm thankful that I, uh, I still have my position um, and have been working this entire time. But I travel a lot um, and I haven't, you know, I haven't set foot on a plane uh, in, in a month, over a month now. Um, and that's weird, you know, because usually I fly at least every, every other week. Um, but there's just, you know, there's a lot of change going on right now and i felt like the the first week man that weekend of you know self-quarantine uh i kind of just rested a little bit being you know working in the firearms business it's it's been crazy the last month or so the the run on new firearms owners um ammunition magazines uh we were just we were working seven days a week you know 12 14 16 hours a day so that first weekend, you know, I was able to take a day off and, and I just tried to rest a little bit. And then I felt like the second weekend, I could kind of see that this was going to be a prolonged uh, event. And, you know, I started working on some of my preps, just not even like trying to prep, but like organizing some of my areas that had gotten sloppy over the last year, working on my inventory so I knew exactly where I was in each sector. Um, and man, I felt like it was just like busy work, hour after hour, uh, that a couple weekends ago. And then last weekend, kind of the same thing. Um, and I felt like this weekend, man, it just hit me. You know, it hit me with uh, some friends that have other illnesses, my grandfather passing away. Uh, it was it, it was just overwhelming. I didn't want I didn't want to do much, you know. Uh, yesterday I didn't do much, um, and and it was just one of those things where I think that's where a lot of Americans are. I think that's where a lot of you guys are right now. Is we have no clue really how long this is going to go, and it is daunting to to stay after it day after day and to stay motivated when there's no end in sight. Um, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of like a sprinter coming out of the gates. You come out extremely hard and you start running, but if you don't know where the finish line is, you have no clue how long to keep going. And that's what I saw. You know, we, we saw a huge run on gun sales. People were, um, extremely anxious, new gun owners going through the roof because they wanted the ability to, to defend themselves, their family, their loved ones. That was, that was week one. Uh, week, week four now, our local gun shop, it's back to normal if not below um, because that, that urgency is now gone. You know, people have, have settled. Um, and, and I'm here to challenge you. I'm challenging myself. That's why I came out for a run today. I told my wife, I, you know, I just had to get out of the house for a while. Um, uh, I, I couldn't, I couldn't sit there. I need to go for a run. I put my shoes on, I grabbed my camera cause I want to do this video. Um, you know, I challenge you guys, uh, try to, try to sharpen yourself mentally, physically, um, get stronger, get smarter, learn something new. Um, also enjoy time with your loved ones, you know, uh, and, and for you guys that, that know me personally, you guys know, I, uh, I love chaos. I embrace chaos. Um, I don't slow down hardly at all. I, I work nonstop, but I'm okay with that. Uh, the, the slowdown is where I start to, to just get stir crazy, where I start to, <laughs> to lose my mind almost. Um, I've been working on playing with my son more outside, going for bike rides with him, uh, spending time with my wife, you know, because I don't get that very often. Uh, like I said, usually I, I'm on the road a lot. Um, and you know, we just live busy lives, you know, I'm trying to slow down, but also this time I'm trying to, to learn some new skills. Uh, and, and times like this guys in the prepping community, community is a, uh, a fantastic time to, to learn some indoor skills. Uh, 
learn learn how to make learn how to make jams and jellies if you don't you know you can order uh, a lot of the stuff online um, if, you, if you have the ingredients which you should you know go try to find some some local produce uh, work on making some some jams and jellies uh, work on you know work on your guys's uh, inventory lists you know what's in your pantry what's in your closets what's in your your garage you know really know what you have uh, because that can save you a lot of headache. You know, that organizing, I preach it all the time, organizing and inventory, um, because it's nice to know what you have and where it is, you know, because it can save you a lot of money. I saw a lot of people that I know started buying magazines like crazy, and they're like, John, I just don't have any magazines. And I'm like, I bet you do, you just don't know where they are. Go go collect all those magazines, put them in, load them, then put them in a box so you know where they are, label the box, um, you know, make sure that rigs got ammo in them, you know, and, um, you know, work on those things that if you have to stay inside, work on those things, work on learning some new knots, you know, go get, go get a, a piece of paracord, work on some new knots, watch some, watch some YouTube videos. Um, you know, if, if you're stuck inside, you can't get outside. Um, just don't, don't lose it. Don't just sit on the couch. Don't come complacent. Um, and then physically, you know, let's let's not just get beyond overweight. Sit, eat, do nothing. Um, really, really focus on you know getting outside. If you can't go outside, if there's just no way, my city's in lockdown. Uh, Push-ups, sit-ups, um, jumping jacks get a jump rope online, you know, order. A lot of small online businesses can still get you guys stuff in, in two or three days. Get a jump rope um, and, and try to work on your physical health also, you know. Um, but this is just, this was just me kind of kind of venting, you know. It's been a, I know it's been a rough month. It's been a rough month on America, period. Um, and most of us are doing better than most of America. Man, you see these car lines, in San Diego that are thousands of cars, you know, wanting, wanting handouts. Um, Charlie Hogwood, our chief editor of Survival Dispatch Insider made a, a fantastic analogy, you know. During the Great Depression, they'd make, they'd make food lines, you know, in the, in, the, in the middle of a town. We don't do that anymore uh, because we don't want the, the media publicity on it. So we make drive-throughs and we put them way on the outskirts of town. We, we put them in the industrial areas and uh, lower income areas to, to try to, to alleviate some of it. And that's why you're not seeing a lot of that right now. You know, you're seeing a lot of talk on numbers and people getting sick. You're not seeing the, really on TV, a lot of people talk about the economic uh, portion that's, that's attaching itself with this COVID-19. Uh, and, and that's what's really going to stick around for a long time. Guys, we're going to, we're going to come out of the, the health side of this faster than we are the economic side of it. The economic side is going to be around for a long time. Um, and, and we have to prepare for that, you know. Be wise, economic wise, you know. If you still have your job, be wise with, with how you're spending your, your resources right now, your extra resources, uh, really allocate them. And that's why I go back to inventory and organizing. Uh, you don't wanna spend what precious little money you might have on something that you already have just because you don't know where it is. Um, so, you know, really make sure that you're, you're allocating your funds appropriately. Um, you know, try to save as much as you can in these times. So if something were to happen to your job, you can, you can survive and not be in those lines for a while. Um, you know, and I really hope, I hope every single one of you are not just surviving, I hope you're thriving, you know. I know it's hard to say, um, but I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I appreciate you guys following us. And, and like I said, this was just kind of a, a weekend rant that I wanted to put together. I had to get out of the house. I was going crazy. Um, and, you know, and I just wanted to encourage you guys. I wanted to challenge you guys, but I wanted to encourage you guys, you know, don't lose, don't lose sight of how great America is. Be thankful that you live in America, uh, even in these times. I know that sounds really, really hard. 
uh, enjoy, enjoy your friends, enjoy your family, your loved ones. And we're going to, we're going to come through this. We're going to come out of this, you know, um, it's just going to take, take some time, take some hard work. Um, but it's just, it's, it's putting it, it's putting the pieces back together piece by piece. And, you know, we don't even know if, if all the pieces have been broken apart yet, but we're going to put them back together piece by piece. Uh, if you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to always leave them on our social media pages. We try to answer every question possible because we want to be able to be here to, to help you guys, you know, with, uh, in these times. So feel free to always leave comments. Uh, feel free to, to email us also. Um, and if you're not an insider member, check out survival dispatch insider uh, we do a monthly digital pdf magazine with tons of survival information so if you guys are interested in building your survival library uh, with information it's a fantastic source for that we have 32 back issues that you can check out for free for 14 days so you can check that out also um, i love and appreciate each and every one of you that have been a part of of our family here for the last two years and uh and we're here for you um we're in this we're in this together uh so you know if there's anything we can do let us know i hope you guys have a fantastic easter weekend and weeks after and uh, i will see you guys another day <music>